my way up to Fairbanks and beyond uh, for a caribou hunt. And I'm getting, we're getting close to uh, Cantwell. Obviously Cantwell, Alaska. So about, uh, about 250 more miles to go to our final destination. Um, less than 200 to Fairbanks, maybe 180 or so to Fairbanks. So it is currently 9 p.m. and expected to arrive uh, probably between 1 and 2 in the morning, depending on how long we take getting gas. Uh, our next two gas stops. <laughs> and this is after working all day, so. Uh, but it's what we got to do because this hunt will close. Uh, it is currently Thursday night. This hunt will close on Sunday night. So when they do that, it usually means there's enough of them close to the road that uh, they're gonna they're gonna hit their, their quota that they've set pretty quick. So we're gonna get up here and see what we can make happen. music down and try to copyright me. Fairbanks and next gas stop is just up the road in Healy so we're moving along in the morning we are arrived at 12 mile summit which is where we uh, plan on parking and getting on the uh, the four wheelers to head off into the wilderness that last hour driving was pretty uh pretty intense we had really thick fog um, thunderstorms some of the craziest lightning I've seen ever in the state this crazy sliver probably can't see it I don't think you'll be able to see that but this crazy sliver of like a blood moon is like very orange orange but it's, it's just a toenail worth um, so I'm gonna catch my breath after that last hour drive and uh, got my my in reach I send a little uh, satellite message to Inga, let her know where we're parked for, uh, you know, just in case. And then climb into this front seat and try to get some shy eye for about three hours. And then uh, change clothes and get on these wheelers and go find some caribou. 
so we'll see. And we got Killer Ken, his offspring, Killer Connor, ready to go. Uh, working on about probably less than two hours of sleep. Got up here at two in the morning. It's about six now, probably, give or take. And uh, 6.36, there we go. Up a little after, alarm went off at 5.30, not quite up. But uh, the sun, the sun is already looking like, where is it? There it is. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna warm the place up a bit today, so. Get out there fast and carry. Feels like we're on top of the world. copyrighted uh, so a slightly disappointing first day uh, and a long day at that after our uh, two-hour nap took off into the mountains it is currently 5 p.m. 1700 uh, so we're moving uh, further uh, further east uh, we did not see a single caribou and didn't see anyone else out there that had seen one either the few hunters we talked to uh, we did out distance i think anyone else in the area we didn't see uh any other hunters for the most of the day except when we we're traveling to and from the parking area so uh, we put in the work and time um just they're not there and visibility is not great with the smoke from the wildfires and it's really, really windy up on the mountains. And who knows how that's affecting them. So we're moving. They move, they're always moving. So I think if you spend it a full day um, without seeing one, you know, without them wandering into the area you're at, I think the, the smart move is to move some. And they, they don't they don't know why they do what they do or where they're going half the time. So like trying to predict that is, close to impossible but um yeah we're we're gonna hedge our bets and just move about 30 it's about 30 35 miles east and try again in the morning that is all folks there's a nasty rumor going around okay. i've heard people say that kim machado is not a morning person but look at this teddy bear 4 30 in the morning i'm gonna wait He's ready to go. I'm ready to chase caribou. With that smile on his face. Look at that. Yep, that's what we're dealing with this morning. About 
25 yards visibility. That's a little better. Got some sunshine. stink off we have uh, at least seen some these aren't uh, these aren't legal animals but tops of these mountains we're on blue sky above us so it doesn't really help see anything uh, I've seen eight caribou so far today there's eight more than we saw yesterday but they're involved in cows and calves so still waiting on a pool to show up
did. It took a, it took a while until he gave me a sort of a side shot. That...